at the refinery in Clyde, New South Wales, a single span 70 metre long bridge sits, awaiting its fate. A former workhorse of this facility, it has now been condemned due to extensive corrosion and Liberty Industrial must take it down. Liberty Industrial must first assess the bridge to determine its structural integrity. To do so, an elaborate system of ropes and harnesses is devised, providing the engineers safe access throughout the full length of the bridge. This allows them to securely gather crucial information, invaluable in determining the removal methodology. The bridge spans the width of Duck River. The Duck River is lined with mangroves, which in New South Wales are protected by legislation. The mangroves either side of the river cannot be damaged under any circumstances. This places severe environmental constraints on the operation. In consultation with key subcontractors, the project team determines the best course of action. A dismantling approach is deemed the safest and most practical way forward. Placing a 70 metre bridge and a 270 tonne crane on a 50 metre barge requires exacting precision in positioning all this mass and weight. The slightest miscalculation could prove disastrous. Extensive calculations and plans are prepared for the lifting of the bridge. The stability of the 50 metre barge is an essential consideration in all calculations. In the days leading up to the operation, the Liberty Industrial team test for potential hydrocarbon residue and the presence of explosive gases to confirm the pipes can be cut safely using an oxy torch. The timing of the operation is absolutely critical to the success of the project. Access up the river with the barge and two tugs can only be achieved within a short two-hour window on either side of high tide. The day before the lift, a 450-ton mobile crane is used to carefully lift all the equipment onto the barge and to help set up the 270-ton pin jib crane that will be used to lift the bridge. In the early hours of May 5, 2016, the team makes its way up the river towards the Duck River Bridge. They need to be in position, anchored, and ready to rig the bridge during high tide and with the first light of day. Timing is critical. The structure is rigged within the hour. The massive bridge is then released at either end, lifted, and gently landed onto the barge with a full hour of high tide to spare. Now, the barge carefully makes its way down the river to the landing area, carefully avoiding the client's hydrocarbon infrastructure in the immediate proximity. After cautiously navigating the barge to the landing area, the Liberty Industrial team turns to the 450-ton crane, using it to lift the bridge off the barge. The structure is cut into manageable sections with a 36-ton hydraulic excavator with a shear attachment and loaded out for recycling. By the end of the following day, the work is completed. The area can now be handed back to the client within the time allotted and free from hazard. The success of this delicate operation relied upon complex planning and precise execution to ensure the task was completed safely and within the extremely tight time frame.